Hello guys, this is Damian from forexboat.com and welcome back to our video examples on a live forex trading account. We remind that the trades you will see here are with and only educational purpose. So now we are approaching the one hour chart of the Australian dollar, American dollar. What we see here is a strong support area around 0 0.76. 67 0 0.7667 that just got interrupted in various directions. I mean, not now, but uh, like um, one, two, three, four, five, like 10 hours ago, maybe over here. The interesting thing is that the support zone was expected to be uh, very strong since um, it was many times tested. Um, on February 22nd, then uh, February 23rd, to on 24th, on 26th then, and 27th, again on 27th, one more time on 28th, and right over here 28th again, and the next time the support level broke in bearish direction. And now I'm marking the breakout for you over here as a result the price action created a couple tops in the area of the support here which uh, interrupted the already broken support again in bullish direction but still since the volatility was very high we can consider this as a as a price interaction with the 0 0.7667 resistance level and now over here when we switch to the 30 minute chart we see that the price is currently attempting to bounce in various directions. On the hourly chart, we see a candle called hanging man reversal, which is coming after a price increase. For this reason, we intend to sell the Australian dollar, American dollar for pair. Half lot. On the assumption that the price will decrease at least to the bottom the two bottoms created at uh, 0 0.7634 which is like um, 25 pips away from our uh, short entry point let's zoom in to see the hanging man can candle over here nice and clean right at the 0 0.7667 level which after got which uh, after we saw that it got broken we see that the price is now testing it as a resistance so it was a support now it's getting tested as a resistance this is a very a very frequent uh, event in forex trading when a level gets broken then it turns from a support into a resistance or the opposite from a resistance into a support when the breakout is bullish now let's zoom out again switching to the one hour chart we see that the overall price action of the australian dollar american dollar is bullish but as we see lately the price action is slowing down which is like sufficient reason to believe that the price action might might even be reversing however our trade currently concerns a relatively small price move so this is not something that interests us what interests us is this bullish trend line over here you see it now let's mark it with another color Wait, let's use yellow for example this yellow bullish trend line that got broken prior the breakout through the 0 0.7667 level so the breakout through this level is another indication that the price action might be accounting for a for a bigger drop so what we're going to do here now is to place a stop loss order somewhere above this top where we can um, 
So if we place the stop loss order above the upper wick, upper candle wick of this stop, the stop loss order will be pretty loose. Since that top was created by relatively big candles during high volatility, I believe we can we can uh, we can uh, neglect this candle wick and take into consideration only the top at like 0 0.76. 78 uh, by placing our stop loss order over there 76 78 okay and at the same time we can place a take profit order at the double bottom I mean not the pattern double bottom but the the bottom here at uh, at uh, 0 0.7635 or even 36 yeah so we would be able to contain both of the bottoms because we have one bottom over here and we have a second bottom over here so let's use this as a target since the price if the if the analysis we're doing currently is proper we will see a minimum price move to these two bottoms over here so we're gonna Place our take profit order at 0 0.7636. Okay. Um, notice that in this case, if the price action reaches our take profit order and even breaks through the level at 0 0.7636. Uh, there will be an opportunity on the chart to trade for a further price decrease mm, where the the Fibonacci retracement level might be a useful indicator in this case so let's just position them so we'll, you will have a kind of a picture about this uh, we take as a bullish trend only this part of the price action because as you see the price is increasing here with relative consistency the prior bullish price move is relatively sharp so we need to treat this bullish move and this bullish move as two separate trends although they're both bullish they should be treated as separate trends because i apologize because the The second bullish trend, which we have marked with the yellow bullish trend line over here, represents a slowdown of the previous trend. Another indication that the price action might be reversing, actually. And when we switch to the to the one hour chart, we closely see that the yellow bullish trend got broken over here. Then it got tested as a resistance. As I said, support levels get broken and then they turn into resistances, creating another bounce in bearish direction through the support area at 0 0.7667, an indication that the trend might actually be reversing. And as a result of this, we will try to trade a small price move of this potential price decrease switching back to the one hour chart this is the hanging man candle over here finished hanging man candle and having in mind the bearish trend breakout over here and this breakout in the support level at 0 0.7667 in a combination with the hanging man reversal candle we assume that the price will drop at least to the bottom over here and the low point of the hanging man candle reversal so let's pause the video now and let's come back later to see how how this trade is going to be developed okay guys we're back about six hours later to see that the price action has started a relatively strong bearish move toward our take profit order 
and as a result of this we intend to move our stop loss order below our entry point in order to lock in guaranteed profit and even further as more as we are allow allowed to do okay and now we close nearly half of the trade uh, meaning that whatever happens from now on we will have the distance between our entry point at 0 0.7660 and our current stop loss order at 0 0.7650 as a guaranteed profit in this trade meaning that we already locked in 10 pips profit in our trade 76.60 and 76.50 approximately and furthermore we're still in the trade uh, trying to hit our target at 0 0.7635 and for this reason I suggest that we wait a little bit more to see how the trade is gonna develop Okay guys, we're back again about um, 30 minutes later to see that the price action has hit our stop loss order that we adjusted on profit uh, at 0 0.7656 over here and uh, after we entered the trade at 0 0.7666 we generated a 10 pips profit with our trade which equals to approximately 0 0.13 percent pure profit in our trade uh, the bad thing is that uh, we did not manage to hit our target that was located at 0 0.7636 but the good thing is that the trade is absolutely successful because we generated the tempest profit anyway and uh, the previous candle on the chart by the way um, is a hammer reversal which means that the price action might reverse so i believe we managed to extract like the maximum out of this trade for this reason i thank you very much for watching my video again looking forward to see you on the next trading session and until then i wish you happy trading